When COVID began to sicken so many last year, we looked to hospital workers for solace and care. Workers like nurses. At first, there was a feeling of camaraderie and people really, you know, applauding healthcare workers and stuff. And, and it was really nice. And, and we felt like, you know, people get what we're going through and they're, they understand that we're making a sacrifice. Today, frontline healthcare workers are facing a new strain. What nurses are experiencing now is really different than what we ever had before. Sam Conley is a neuroscience acute care nurse at Harborview Medical Center. She understands dealing with difficult patients comes with a job, but she never imagined part of it would be enforcing mask wearing in the hospital. It's the, the verbal and physical abuse from visitors and family members that's been some of the most challenging aspect of providing care because I'm trying my best to keep their family members safe. I'll have to ask visitors several times, hey, I really need you to put that mask back on. Conley isn't alone. We're seeing extreme burnout and fatigue uh, from our clinical staff um, and support staff. John Herson is president of Salmon Creek Medical Center in Vancouver, Washington. He says his staff also deals with visitors who resist masking and face verbal, even physical abuse. Uh, many are uh, choosing to leave uh, the profession. So a lot of my coworkers are leaving, and if they haven't left yet, they're just waiting for the opportunity. People that would never have normally left, who were lifers. The Washington State Nurses Association calls it an unprecedented crisis, saying staff shortages are reaching critical levels. The state is now looking into solutions to keep staff on the job and keep them safe. Legislation in effect last year expands workplace violence training to include more health care settings, something Conley says she received and is grateful for. Now that it's legally required, it's getting um, that training is actually getting to people in a real way. And one of her pleas as she navigates the challenges of her job. I'm hoping we can get a real commitment from um, our community to take vaccine and masking really seriously. In Seattle, Christine Pei, King 5 News.